Okay, so uh, what I have here, as you can see, is a Power Mac G4. Um, as you can see down here, if it will focus, that it's a 1.42 gigahertz Power Mac G4 with a 5Y800 port. Got a keyboard and mouse, I've got a display, power. Now, here's the insides. Got a USB card, uh, you know, uh, wireless card, um, heat sink and everything. Okay, so jiggery. So this is a Power Mac G4, a 5 wire 800 model that can only boot OS 10. Now, so let's turn it on. With my monitor over here. I've got the switches around the front of it here. Okay, so off it goes. Okay. It's normal, right? Now, wait for it to boot up. Let's do for burst mode, just so you can see that nothing funny is going on. So, as you can see, it's booting. OS 10 Tiger, 10.4.11. Uh, see, um, it's just a clock reset. Uh, and so, as you can see here, I got to about this Mac. 10.4.11, dual 1.42 gigahertz power PC G4 processors. Now, here's where it gets interesting, and this is the point of the video. Okay, so I'm going to System Preferences, Startup Disk, Mac OS 9.2.2. Let's restart into it, shall we? Okay, so here's what, now remember that this is a Fireway 800 Mac. Uh, the last. This was the first Power Mac that could not boot into OS 9. Now watch the screen. As you can agree, I've got my monitor cable here. We'll do this here, and there's a mouse on the floor that just fell down. Um, so we'll wait for it to boot up. We'll keep watching. And voila! We have Mac OS 9.2.2. On a FireWire 800 power Mac mirror drive door. So, let's let it boot up. It's loading the extensions. Extensions, extensions, extensions. Yeah, my display driver doesn't like my uh, graphics card. I had this problem, I've always had this problem, regardless of uh, uh, what computer the graphics card on. It's a flashed ATI radio 9200. I tried that. Uh, but as you can see, it's OS 9. Got windows and stuff and platinum sounds. So let's go to about this computer. Here you go. One, I got 1.5 gigs of RAM, like it said. Um, so, and I go into um, Apple System Profiler. As you can see here, that this is indeed full focus. Come on, a PowerPC G4 1.42 gigahertz Power Mac. Uh, 3.1, I mean 3.6 as you can see it is a Power Mac G4 MDD Firewire 800 model booting OS 9 show you again as you can see that's a Firewire 800 port there and, uh, actually you saw the Bluetooth on the, on the motherboard and, 
and stuff to indicate that this is a non OS 9 ca compatible machine. So, you might be asking how I did this. Well, if you look at the root of the, my Macintosh HD here, you can see a firmware file. This is the firmware from a 2003 OS9 bootable Power Mac. The um the the uh you know the dual the single 1.25 gigahertz ones that were released because people were complaining they couldn't um they couldn't boot uh OS9 on their Power Mac G5s and stuff. So that's the firmware file from that. Now, what I did was I manually flashed that file into the BIOS open firmware chip in this case on this Power Mac and it worked. It's an older boot ROM revision that allows me to boot OS9 on a Firewire 800 Mac and a Power Mac G4. The only downside that I've experienced so far is in OS 10 and and in OS 9 the airport card is no longer recognized you know you can't have everything in this world so uh, yeah so I'm really happy with that I just thought I'd share that because it's a uh, Firewire 800 Mac Firewire 800 uh, Power Mac G4 MDD booting OS 9 and I'll show you again that this is OS 9 Mac OS 9.2 point two. there you go Awesome, ain't it? Anyways, uh, I just thought I'd share that with the world. Um, so yeah, let's reboot into OS X. Uh, control, it's a uh, control panels, start up disk. Here we go. Here we go. Restart time. So it's booting into OS X. We've got the familiar Apple logo. No verbose mode this time. Just, just showing you that it can, it is, you know, a Macintosh computer. Anyway, as you saw. Um, wait for it to boot. Wait for it to boot. It's an ATA hard drive, so it's going to take some time. Um, let's wait for it to load. Here we go. Should kick in about now. Alright, luckily, as you can see, I'll have to reset the clock again. Anyways, that's just because I haven't set it to. It doesn't. OS9 doesn't reset the clock. Not that I've experienced. Uh, anyways, as you can see, like I was saying, dual 1.42 GHz PowerPC G4. And to prove, another proof, that this is a Firewire 800 Mac, let's go into the Firewire per tab, maximum speed. 800 megabits a second. As you can see there, hardware. And if you look here at the boot ROM version, you can see it's 4.4.8 f2. Now the the ROM that this originally shipped with would have been 4.6.0 f1. I've downgraded it to 4.4.8 f2. I got this. Uh, older ROM from a ROM update for the Firewire 400 MDDs. Uh, and you can see two CPUs, 1.42 gigahertz, 167 megahertz frontside bus, and 1.5 gigs of DDR RAM. And, you know, uh, go to ATA, my hard drive and DVD drive. So, yeah, really awesome. Really, really awesome. Um,. As you can see, 
ACI radio. Anyways, so that's my power mic G4 Firewire 800 booting macOS 9. I hope you enjoyed this video and lights out.